Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about the COVID safety procedures in the biology labs. The first thing you want to do is take your temperature to make sure you're below 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit. The next thing you'll want to do is fill out the COVID-19 assessment form found on the Human Resources website. The first time you go to this website, you'll have to log in using your GVSU network login and password. After this, you're going to fill out the COVID-19 self-assessment form, which answers a series of questions pertaining to your health for the day. These answers will be saved and automatically uploaded the next time as well. As long as your health is not changed, you can just confirm your responses at the bottom of the screen and continue on with your day. As a reminder, you will have to do this every day before you come to campus. In the lab, there will be blue and white dots on the floor showing you where to sit. They're set six feet apart from your partner diagonally, as well as six feet apart from other tables. Please avoid sitting at any seat without one of these markings. When you enter the lab, make sure your mask is on and you're maintaining six feet of distance between other people. Before you begin the lab, you'll want to set down any belongings at your table that you will need for the lab. After you've set down all of your belongings and taking items out of your bag for the day, you'll want to go and wash your hands. Make sure you do this before you sit down at your table. Once you've washed your hands and you're seated, you're ready to start lab. Your professor will give you instructions on how to begin. As you can see, Scally and Shelly are not following directions. Not only are they not wearing their masks in the lab, but they have food and drinks and are sitting much too close to one another. Please don't be like Skelly and Shelly. There you go, Skelly and Shelly. Six feet apart, masks on, no food and drink. Now we're ready to start our lab. As you're working on things in the lab, as a reminder, please keep your mask on at all times and maintain your distance as much as possible. There will be times in the lab where you have to get closer than six feet to work on a piece of equipment together. Make a plan before you get to the shared piece of equipment so that your time spent within each other's six-foot bubble is minimized. As with all good lab practices, being prepared goes a long way. There may be other times in the lab where you have to be closer than six feet with other people than your partner, such as your professor. If this happens, just a reminder, keep your mask on to ensure that you're both kept safe. Once you're done using the shared piece of equipment, you'll want to wipe it down using a paper towel and ethanol. You cannot spray anything with internal components or that is electric directly with the ethanol. For things such as microscope, you'll want to dip a non-glue Q-tip into a jar of ethanol and wipe down the eye pieces as well as any other part of the microscope you've touched. Oh boy, Skelly, that's much too close to have your mask off. Please put that back on. Once the lab is over, you must clean and sanitize your workstation. Any non-equipment items such as beakers, flasks, and tubes can be washed in the sink with soap and water. Any equipment with internal components or that is electric can be wiped down with paper towel and ethanol. This cannot be sprayed directly. When lab is finished, you'll want to wash your hands before leaving. Before doing so, either you or your partner needs to spray down the table with ethanol. Do not wipe down the table after you've sprayed it. Leaving the ethanol spray on the table will kill any germs left behind. This is why your table may still be wet when you enter the lab following another section. Scally and Shelly have learned a lot from this video. We hope you have too. See you in lab!